Hello and welcome to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis and I am in co-op with three other guys. We have got Mickey in his pink Aramatsu Forester. We've got GT in the red one and we've got Gareth in the blue one at the end. Say hello, guys. Hello. Good morning. Is that everybody? Cool. Right, that was quick. Right, um, the plan today is everybody gets a log and a bit of filling space. Two contracts. I'm going to open up the map. So, Pine Line Bay, everybody gets a log. We're going to grab seven medium logs because we need three for everybody gets a log. And if I open up filling space, we need four. Four in Pine Line, three in Oviro. So we are currently here in the Flatlands Garage. Mickey's leading us through into Oviro to go and get the logs. And from there, we're going to drop them off at the three houses that require the medium logs. Ditch the trailers because we need to go and get trailers first. So in fact, yeah. We're all heading to the trailer store to pick up our trailers, and then we're heading south. So, Mickey, I hope you've got the route set for the trailer store first. Um, and then we're going to ditch the trailers with the logs because they'll be empty, and then we're going to carry on through to the Pine Line Bay, time permitting. So that's where we're at. I think we're good to go. Everybody, fire up your engines! Oh, and I'm in the GMC. No trailer. Hey, hey, hey. Perks of the job. So there goes GT. You oh, go in second GT. Right. Yep. Gareth, you're third. I'm last. So Mickey's already got his trailer because we sent him down to the trailer store just to see because we weren't sure if the Aramatsu Foresters could attach a medium logging trailer as well. It's been that long. And they do. So that's good to know. All a little bit different, it's a proper logging job. I'm the only one really that's not in a proper logging truck. This is a highway truck, would you believe? The GMC. Again, this was all Mickey's suggestion. Adam Axel's and the GMC. But we can blame somebody. I, Mickey. It's a beautiful day. With the rain and the sunshine. It's nice to have co-op with the other three guys for a change. It's been a while since we've had four. That's... <laughs> as, as, maybe since Michigan. Yeah, it could well yeah. be Maggie since Michigan, yeah. We've just... We've, we've increased <laughs> our chances of carnage in... by some margin. But I'm sure we're all good. We're, we're all professional logging drivers now. Yeah, I've done loads of logging. I'm not sure how to take that, Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll assume you meant in game. Of course. Well, what else could I possibly have meant? Don't answer. I'm not going to answer that. Don't let anybody answer that. <laughs> well, at least you've got a buffer today. You're not, you're not suddenly going to pull up short with with, uh, uh, with GT's uh, emergency stops. Well, currently, we've got a long way to go. I'm, I'm not going to make any assumptions at this early stage. I'm just hoping that the broadband and everybody's connection stays good. Well, it, my, my PC's... Oh, my internet's been a little weird. As my PC has been weird already, but... Yeah, as we all think, know, if you've been following that saga. Oh. Yes, one thing after another. Yeah. Um, mm. But yeah, it, I had to restart my rig this morning in order to get everything, like, my internet running properly, so I don't quite understand what's going on. Oh, computers are their best. Now, am I going to... Uh, right, here's the next big question. Am I going to have to jump into your trucks? Or should I just stay in my GMC to buy these trailers and buy them and just detach? Ooh, oh, don't know what's happening. Idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay in my GMC. You guys kind of get ready. Mickey, can so you oh, you're going to buy it? Yeah, I'm ready. Really yeah, I'll buy it over <laughs> on this side so you can make the corner. We probably need to move forward a bit. How about here? Hopefully that'll be easy enough. That might work. Logging trailer, where are you? Logging trailer. 
Okay. Installed add-ins or tillage blocked. Okay, let me move forward a bit further. Say that again, shall we? No, I think maybe you can't. Oh, I can't. Installed add-ons. Okay, so guys, I'm going to jump out of my GMC into your vehicles. So if you guys want to find another truck to jump into, let me know when you've done it. I'm clear. Okay, that's a blue one done. Let me park here. Trailer store. Oh, trailer by. I'll move you out the way. Well, we learned a lesson there. I didn't think the GMC could attach that dolly trailer type because it hangs so far over the back of that last mm -hmm. axle. Right, okay, let's park. Yeah, this one there. Engine off. See if I can switch. Oh, I want to start. I want to change truck. ETs. Okay. But yeah, you can go back and log trailer by. And then restore your train in doing this. I'll restore GT yep. Change truck. Did you right. pull a little way down the hill just so we can get some, uh, uh, you know, a clean exit? Yeah, GT, you're good to jump back into yours now. I've left oh. it where it was, so you'll have to make the turn, I'm afraid. And I will move out of your way. I hear you, GT. Hold on, oh, I'm going to oh, adjust my setting. Uh, oh, I've got a bird chasing me. Right, see how you can get on. I'll right, GT, I'm ready when you are. I've adjusted the settings to turn the U the settings down for the horn. Because GT has a habit of setting off his horn randomly, confusing me, thinking he needs my attention, but he don't. Right, let's go, guys. We are rocking and rolling. That's on the basis that Mickey's got the route right, set. Okay, and I'm back in behind Gareth. Ooh. Looks weird, right? Yeah, your your dolly trailer didn't look like it was wanting to follow you very well there, but it might have just been because of the articulation of the Aramatsu. Yeah, um, Michael did the same with me. Okay. I was watching. It was sort of sideways on. Yeah. It's like the dolly had locked in position. Mm. But yeah, the, 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 the weird thing was me, with me was that my... I was chewing through the concrete like it was mud. Oh, right, okay. Which is a completely new experience, but... Again, snowed on our graphite. Well, physics at its best. Yeah. Hey, where are we off to? I have no idea. I'm, I'm just following the leader. Yeah, I'm just... It's following the leader, but... I thought we'd go... As soon as we were here, we'd go... past through the, the cooling towers yes, area, I, over there. Yeah. <laughs> He's leading us on a merry dance. Hmm. Where's he John going? Long for a shortcut, as he would say. Yeah, long way for a shortcut, yeah. Before you said you are going to the trailer store, so we are going back the same way. Uh, yeah, Mickey, you kept quiet. I, I kind of figured oh, that's why you was. It is what it is. Oh, JC, wait, 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 wait. Let me just oh. pull your trailer up. Okay, GT's going the scenic way. Oh, no, 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 don't stop messing around with a crane. <laughs> I don't need that. Thank you. I just need to pull forward a touch. Is this oh, the first of the it. first of many accidents, is it? Stop. Because every time you move forward, I have to take my handbrake off and move forward. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna hold your trailer steady there, right. You reversing back then, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Right, so when you pull forward, the trailer should or pull to where you need to, the trailer should be Nope. No. GT, are you gonna drive forwards or backwards from your current location? 
I it looks can't like he... go forward, so I'm stuck again by the tree. Yeah, I thought you were. I could do with someone to pull me back up. Yeah. Me oh. To... oh, look at that. Crash barrier damage. That's ridiculous. Why go further on? Right, okay. This is not gonna not working for me. Right. Maybe oh, if GT, if you release your trailer, and then Gareth can pull your trailer back out, yeah. and you can drive out. Is it you? How did you manage to get into that ditch? The corner too quickly. Yeah. Right. Have you released the trailer? Right, Gareth. See if you can pull that yeah, trailer yeah. back out. Yeah, that's working. Find it. Yeah. And now, GTU, swing your articulation the other way. So you're, you're trying to turn left in reverse. Well, you can't, you're stuck. Okay. And you winch yourself backwards. I know these Aramatsus are supposed to be good off road and all that. Oh, well, there he is. There he is. I was about to come and rescue you there. Right, up onto the road. And then reverse back for your trailer. Uh, I will move out of your way though. That worked quite well. Coming back, yeah. Meanwhile, Mickey's in a viral collecting logs. Oh, mm -hmm. Oh, Mickey's left the game. What happened to Mickey? Yeah, Xbox crashed, I believe that was. Oh no! That's why we have my trucks and not your trucks, because your trucks would have disappeared there. Okay, um, GT, lead on until you find Mickey's trailer or truck. We'll catch him back up. Hopefully we'll get back in game. I need to give him a code though. Yeah, he's disappeared completely. Oh, and he's stuck in the video while we do this. Yeah, I'll need to stop it. So we'll just drive forward until we find him. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> How bizarre. Oh, emergency stop. I don't find his truck anywhere. He's just around the corner. And welcome back to a slightly changed scenario. Poor Mickey's connection dropped out and he can't get back into the game. So, to update you, we've got Gareth at the front still and we've got GT to my left. I'm in the Ford F750 as a support vehicle because we're not going to do everybody gets a log and the kind of filling space logs. We're just doing filling space. Four logs. They've both got the Aramatsus and a trailer. There's Mickey's Forester. I brought it up. My GMC is now tucked away in the background around the corner somewhere in the road verge. So we're going to go uh, following Gareth down to Aviro, still going to get our medium logs and then Gareth's going to lead us back through the flatlands up into Pine Line Bay to drop off the medium logs and that's where we're at. So Gareth, when you're ready. I reckon. Okay. I've been I don't want to say I've been demoted to um, support. I think support's invaluable. Especially when uh, oh, yeah. vehicles that have no roof rack like the Aramatsus. They could be. I have, it's been so long since I've driven one in anger. I don't know how good they are on fuel, especially pulling a trailer. And not just that though, that you sit at the back so you can get everyone on screen. So yeah, yeah. it kind of makes sense. And I like driving the Ford anyway. It carries so much stuff. Yeah. I, I reckon your vehicles, the Aramatsus, loaded up with the trailer as well, are going to be pretty heavy and not particularly fast. No. Oh, Mickey, we needed you. Hopefully he'll get his issues. He's got a brand new Xbox X, and we can point the finger at that. And that's what I'm pointing the finger at. Whether it is or not, I don't know. But poor Mickey's Xbox not playing. You see, they haven't been ignoring it for all this time. Yeah. 
He's, he, we've been saying, um, saying to him all week, come on, get it sorted. Get it's it funny. Morning. Yeah, I know. And it, it was just so strange because it worked at the beginning. And then once we were really setting off on the adventure, <laughs> it goes, nope, that's enough of that. Game over. Because it, hadn't ha it hasn't had its running, as yeah. it were. Yeah, hasn't warmed up. Okay, back there. Yeah, you may have to yeah. hang fire for a second. GT's just behind yeah. you. I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah, I see the he's Aramat don't do suit. So well in, in, he's don't do so well with mud. Well, this is it. The yeah. Aramat suit, Gareth, I, I thought would be much, much better, like with unique tires that were exceptional yeah. in mud, because that's really what their their home turf is, is just out in the forests. When you first get this spare coal, you're stuck in mud. Yeah, it's rubbish. I think it should be much more capable in the off-road scenarios. I mean, I don't mind that it's not particularly fast. I just think it should be better. Crikey. Brakes aren't exactly uh, right going downhill. Yeah one axle with a brake on it probably okay yeah i'm finding i'm having to when it comes to a muddy puddle like this i'm having to use a lot of the uh, diff lock and a winch as i can see yeah stop beeping at me you git <laughs> oh have you is he tuning the horn see i've turned down the, the ui sound effects so i can't hear it he gets along behind me and he's like beep 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 it's like no go away <laughs> Road rage. Yep. Yeah, I've turned that sound effect off. I can't hear the beeps. I didn't know you could do that. It's the UI it's sound like setting. It's in the audio settings. So it shows how much attention I pay. But you wouldn't need it if you're just playing on your own, because you might want to use the horn. True. It's just the GT's thumb button on the controller, I think, sets it off all the time. Is that no, right, GT? Is it the thumb worst. button? That's right. One of the worst choices of control they have for Xbox. Yeah. And can you not... Oh, go Can you not deconfigure that button to the horn? As in just leave it with no horn? I don't think that they have them. Uh, consoles have that option. It's just uh, like uh, setting one, setting two, setting three. Ah, uh, okay. As we can still configure it. Yeah, because PC, we can deselect options. And all just set it to the other end of the keyboard where nobody ever looks. Well, exactly, there's that too. Come on, girl. Up the hill. It's not much of a hill, but it's a hill nonetheless. Yeah. There we go. Picked a bad route. going to say, I'll try and catch up. To Gareth is another winch point, but I'm just as slow in this mud as well. My poor little tyres. I don't know why Mike, why Mick didn't stick to the main road in the first place. Yeah, down past the cooling towers. Yeah. He just wanted to torture us with this route. <laughs> you could almost have. It's a bit late now, but in, for Gareth, when he was setting the route that he's currently on, is. Going over to the further uh, west side, there's a, through the fields, and taking us down the other uh, track, down to the farm. I did, I did think about that, but I figured that, you know, these things would be okay. Yeah, and again, that brings me back to the argument, these things should be just plowing through the mud without any problems. GT, what is your forester doing? Oh, it's throwing I'm, a wobbler. I've been seeing... I haven't seen how much trouble Gareth's having through yes. this mud. I'm trying to go yeah, over the grass instead. Yeah, probably it's, on your screen it's absolutely fine, but on mine, your forester is disassembling itself. <laughs> the thing is, it, it's, it's not doing... it's still moving. We're still going ahead. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very slow. The back of GT's Aramatsu is levitating above the ground. Yeah, I can see that. And it's... 
it's like it's on kangaroo juice. <laughs> oh my word. I hope Not um <laughs> I hope he doesn't yeah. crash out of the game, otherwise it's just down to me and Gareth again. Like and then there's two. There's never two, buddy. There's always a third. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> Wait, At the moment, I'm concerned. Oh, oh! Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> Suddenly, GTs, Aramatsu's formed a normal truck again. Right, I'm just parked up ahead. Okay, yeah, I see you up ahead. That's cool. You should be on the good roads shortly. Yeah. There we go. I'm not sure what the best gearbox is for the Aramatsu, so I just threw the fine tunes into all three of them. Well, now currently two of them. I don't know if that's the best one for speed. Probably not, but it might be the best one for off-roading. I gotta be honest, this thing is so wobbly, I don't think you'd want that high speed. No. I mean, she does quite well in high gear, so... Yeah, once it's in That's high ratio, as long as it, it, if it stays in high ratio through the mud, then it's fine. It's when it starts to stall out, it hasn't got the power. Yeah. These things have got massive engines and loads of torque. Well, it's a tractor for God's sake. <laughs> exactly, it should have, leave it in a gear and it just keeps on going. Mm. Nah, no problem. I didn't buy John Deere. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not green, it shouldn't be seen. Is that another saying for John Deere's? Uh, I think so, yeah. And what's the one for the Massey Ferguson's? If it ain't red, it should be dead. No, I don't know. Whatever it is. Farming competitions, eh? Who would have thought? Yeah. Careful here, GT. Um. Actually, we're not as close as we thought. I thought we were close. That's the farm there. We've got quite a drive ahead still. That's okay. Oh, the mud. Glorious mud. Yeah. Don't take that too close, GT, because you will roll. Okay. Go wide, GT. Go wide. And you need a winch to the back of his trailer, maybe. I'm going to go through the trees. <laughs> I'm going to take out that same post because I can. Well, I didn't there, but yeah. Watching these sort of vehicles and the the logging, uh, like this Scorpion King, you know, the ones that cut the trees down. Yeah. Amazing to watch in real life. It's like a, an art form when the the operator is just picking trees out the ground and just stripping the branches off, dropping in a beautiful pile. Oh, it's yes. just something to see in real life. I've seen a fair few, a fair few of them when they were they were deforesting at the back of uh, where I live. Yeah, from the hill. It's amazing. can change the outlook of a whole mountainside in such a short period of time nowadays. Yep. From a beautiful green agricultural or um, industrial forest to what looks like a hurricane's just passed through. <laughs> Stripped in 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> And they just leave scabby old trees la uh, standing, which I don't quite understand. Why not just take them down anyway? Uh, I don't think they can. No? I think it's something to do uh, uh, with it. No, we've got fuel on the other side. Um, yeah, I think it's something to do with the... Um, like they, they send out the, the tree doctors to go and bring them back to life. Oh, okay. Well beyond my knowledge power. They get less wood out of a rotten tree than they would out oh, of a yeah. normal tree. I, I'm not saying cut them down to use, I'm just saying cut them down just to tidy up the landscape and just get rid of it. Yeah. Because you've got the stump grinders as well, just to clear the bit for 
I don't know, replanting of the, the next slot of saplings. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe there's a there's a pre-surgeon stroke forester in our viewers who could let us know the reasons. Maybe. Ooh, it's almost me running into the back of GT. Finally, almost through to Aviro to come all the way back again shortly. Yeah, but on the way back it's pretty good roads, so... Yeah, it's just a little bit of muddy roads to the north of here. <coughs> Feels like my high ratios are a good pace for the Aramatsus to go at whatever gear GT is running in. Probably automatic. I'm in auto now as well. Yeah. Once I had normal mode, it was fine. Feels like yeah, it's a fairly. I found it to be much faster in automatic than the high gear. Give yeah, me a second to get out, get out of the way when I get through. Yeah. Because I've been having people spawn into me the last couple of times, so. Just let us know when you're clear of the exit. Yeah. Yeah, I think the automatic... Gear 4 in automatic is very similar ratioed to high ratio. Let's wait for the tunnel to be clear one at a time. That's the rules. Engine off. There he goes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, clear. My turn. Let me know when GT's clear. Yeah. Okay. Am I good to go? Uh, yeah, should be. Here I come. Oh, Viral Hills. Right, okay. And break off. There you are. I just thought it'd be easier if we just kept moving. Yeah, 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 that's fine. And you can get fuel on the way back out if you haven't got it already. On that trailer, uh, tactically placed trailer. See, what I'm thinking is we're going to be driving past the garage. I don't know how much we're going to need. Well, we're not going past the garage as such. Not the, the garage, the gas, gas station. station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, probably uh, yeah, not a no. lot. <laughs> I'd like to think, though, how's your fuel situation looking in your trucks? I'm, I'm about halfway. Halfway, yeah, I'm not even good in 88. Yeah. 88, so, so not quite half. 100, yeah, 188. We're just about, just above the halfway mark. So, so, in that case, once you're fully loaded, you're probably, yeah, you'd never make it through Quartlands again without having to top up. Mm. Try a high ratio through here. Because automatic is not working for me. Uh, once you get up a good momentum, leaving it in high ratio sometimes can be the better choice instead of having to worry about dropping yeah. down to first gear all the time. <clears throat> it's slightly slower, but. Yeah, yeah, but it keeps it going. Short term, lost long term gain. Absolutely. That sounded like you knew what you're talking about there, Gareth. I'm impressed. I know, I've got lots of little uh, um, notes dotted around. <laughs> I can say this if you want to sound smart. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you copied my idea. <laughs> oh, hello, I've lost everyone. You've got lost? Oh, oh no, I've lost everybody. I used to do it as a kid, just use random big words and then. Whether they actually fit in the right place or not, I have no idea, but... Think of that stage in your... your life where you're doing that kind of stuff, it's down to how confident you sound in what you're saying. If you're confident enough, people will believe anything. Absolutely. Right. Medium logs on the truck, medium logs yeah. on the trailer. And engine is stalling. We're almost there. That was quite a challenging little drive. You're fully loaded, how does it feel? Mm, not too bad. I mean, I'm getting... I gained an extra, like, six um, litres per minute. 
Okay. Right, I'm ready to go as soon as GT's going round the block. Is it evening? Because it feels like it is. Yeah, I'm going to get it back round to the morning if it's not too dark. That's fine with me. Okay. Let's hope those dolly log trailers behave themselves now. We don't really want to be having any shenanigans. <laughs> you doing okay, GG? Yeah. Yeah. On the move. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Great minds. Or silly minds. I don't think it's too dark. How does it look in your screen? Is it okay? No, it'll be fine. It's okay. going to brighten up soon anyway. Yeah, so. I'll stick my headlights on. Oh, they're good headlights. Oh, they are good. Yeah. It's funny how the Aramatsu's with the logging add-on and the crane in its restored position, the middle logs are shorter than the medium logs. Yeah. The grab is just sitting in the back. <laughs> I never noticed that before. This is great getting you guys to do all my logging and I'm a support vehicle. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, that's why Mickey's thing did. M Mickey pulled the plug on it. He didn't like logging. Yeah, no. And he it's says, I'm I'm I'll let them guys do it all. <laughs> We've sussed you, Mickey. We've sussed you out totally. Yep, you've been rumbled. Rumbled totally, yeah. You're getting double logging duties next time. <laughs> gotta take the, gotta take the the, uh, the lot that we've got and tow another one behind. Yeah. Oh, where's the road gone? Okay. Just disappears under my feet. Fine. If you think you're going to make it through the flatlands without topping up with fuel from that trailer there, then do so, because obviously I've got the fuel here. It'll be easy enough for me to get this truck back for refueling, as opposed to stealing it from that trailer and then having to refresh the trailer. Or you could just refuel when we refuel. Yeah, but I'm thinking about if that trailer gets emptied, then that's it done. Whereas I can easily yeah, refuel. Yeah, I mean, like if we if we snag fuel from you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You yeah. can refuel it. Yeah, yeah. Take it from me as opposed to the trailer, basically. Yeah. That was the easy way of saying that, I suppose. I've still got. This um, I, was, I was carry extras. Yeah, I've got half a tank left and all my roof rack and stuff that's in the back of the pickup. Mm -hmm. I think you've got about 400 litres of fuel. Yeah, I've got oodles of fuel. Could you give me some of now then, please? You want some now? Yeah. Okay, I'll come up beside you. And bye. <laughs> I'll give you it from the roof rack. That'll lower my centre of gravity marginally. And then from the back. Okay, that should be fully right. fueled. All right. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Invoices in the post. I'm clear of the gate. Cool. We're just coming onto the main road. I'll give you a chance to set the route. It was already done. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it would clear the route, dumping through to the other map. No, I just couldn't add anything on the other map, which yeah. is why I was flying blind through there. Yeah, it's GT through. I'm just going to wing it and go for it. Coming through. And I'll take a little bit of uh, a little sit on, on this side. 
Okay, nu okay. Okay, that'll be Gareth. There goes the I'll come up to your right hand side. Yep. Yeah, 100 layers should more than cover me. And bye. Next fuel lines, pick up bed to yours and. Oh, I, I, you'll be lucky to get that's that. me. I'm dry except for what's in my tank. Crikey. That's weird because it's showing you absolutely chock-a-block. I'm definitely not chock-a-block. I am running on fumes, surely. 72 litres is all I've got left. You've I emptied me. I can see tanks on your roof as well. I've, let's just go with the fact that I don't have that fuel. <laughs> okay. We've got to make it to the gas station. Yeah, no problem. You can always attach a winch and be towed along. Yeah. That's probably the worst of the journey. This will be fairly straightforward and it'll be easy on the other side in piling because it's mostly highway roads. Yeah. I'll just try and drive as much as possible with the all-wheel drive off. <laughs> I mean, this is... I'm only using 1.9... Well, it was 1.9 litres. Now it's jumped up to three litres ish. It's so on average about say like two and a half. Yeah. It was just not bad for a vehicle of this size. Mm hmm This is gonna be a long video. It's gonna be well it depends how fast you drive, guys. Depends how fast you drive. <laughs> but at this rate I'll put it over now. Well I'm at the recording wise, this is about 38 minutes worth, so once I've done maybe a little bit of editing, it'll be a bit less. So... A bit before. Yeah. I'll just cut all the bits with you in it out and I'll be down to about 10 minutes, it'll be fine. That's fine, yeah. No <laughs> I'm gonna go up into the grass banking here to save me going through that mud. GT. Biggest thing is to try and make sure your trailer doesn't tip over too far. Yeah. I think that is it Aramats who got quite a low centre of gravity on its own? On its own, yeah. On its own, yeah, that's what I thought. It should it's exactly how it should be, but obviously fully loaded with logs. It does look a little bit tippy, but I don't think it is. I think most of that is just how it how it looks. Yeah, it's all how it looks uh, aesthetically. Yeah. How is that dangerous water? Not, that's not deep enough to be dangerous. You get the warnings. Oh. These things should have a massive air filter that's quite high up. Hello? Hang on. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Did you a little nudge to help him through? Getting stuck. Quick throw at a winch. Thank you very much, GT. <laughs> Be careful with this here, GT. Um, you, it, your wheels don't quite touch the floor. Was that a nasty crossing? No, it, it's like um, a dip. But yeah. your wheels don't quite get all the way in. I'm going round the GT shortcut. 
for the long well, you're all right, because um, you're, you're a lot, oh, lot, lot shorter, but, uh, yeah, he's a long wheelbase. Yeah, he's looking good. Nicely done. Probably not too much further through the nasty stuff to get to the good roads again, near the cooling towers. No, just ahead of me. Ah, good. I'm just cutting through the trees, it's much more uh, yeah. scenic. Oh yeah, there's the roads there. Oh, why are you messing me about? You're talking to your screen, not us, yeah? The, the, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit muddy through that section, and these are the uh, foresters really struggling. Yeah, go up to the left, GT, onto the grass, you might find it a bit better. That was it, nicely done. Oh! Whoa, oh. you scalped that sign that's spinning along the road. <laughs> Hopefully this despawned. I'm gonna go left again here. Excellent. What a team. Good job. And not stall out. <laughs> you think the articulation in the Aramatsu is better than the BEM? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's a unanimous yes then. Yeah, a little bit. It's a shame they couldn't have copied the physics of that then, for the FEM. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense why they didn't. So the... Does the FEM and the Antarctic seem too similar? You said that before, Gareth, in the last episode. It, I love the Antarctic, don't get me wrong. So do but, I. But the Antarctic is designed for a short bed. Yeah. It's very the limited FEM, use. Uh, no, no, that's fine. That, it, it's designed for that purpose. Unfortunately, it's right. a very niche purpose. Yeah. But the FEM, they decided to use the same style to... Uh, for a completely different type of truck. Right, if you pull up behind me here, MJ can fill us up and uh, yeah, lift I up your will squeeze past. Rather than us trying to turn these logging things in and around in there. The trailers. Yes. There's loads of mods out for the film. So Is um, if you're if you're not okay. able to play with mods. I mean, also, bear in mind that the mods that I can access, you can't access, or all of them. But then you've got the PlayStation people, they, 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 well, they have different mod lists as well, and, and it's... They can't There'll quite probably be uh, enough mods of the Femme out there to suit everybody's tastes. Yeah. Right, are you guys... Ooh. Are you both wanting a wee top up then, yeah? Yes, please. I reckon you could have driven round there and gone round the block, just pretty much like how, how I did, just for future reference. Because you're going to bleed me dry. Time. That's you bled me dry. Okay, next. Bleed dry is a terrible turn. Oh. I've emptied my tank, right? Yep. Um, <laughs> GT stopped, but his front... In fact, all of his axles are still turning. <laughs> How bizarre. Right, let's fill me up because I'm out. Just enough to go over the... I can't even close. Why can't I close that now? Oh no! 
Right, okay, quick update. I have managed to refuel both of the Aramatsu Foresters. We had a game crash, so I'm back in where I was roughly. So we're good to go. Everybody's happy, fully fueled, ready to continue our adventure to the Pine Lane Bay. Right, so guys, if you want to get underway. Yeah, let's roll in. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Really bizarre with the connection with SnowRunner. Again, we were... Gareth got in. GT couldn't get back in. I had to restart my PC. Restarted the game before that. Didn't work. Oh, this game can drive you nuts. But we're underway. And again, we don't actually know what caused the problem, so we don't know how to fix it probably, so restarting the PC was the last thing. I've already done that before and it didn't work, so I am no further forward to knowing how we cure connectivity problems. Mickey still hasn't managed to get back in, so maybe tomorrow. Maybe. I, I think we just blame uh, Michael. We'll just point the finger at Michael for everything, yeah. Yeah. Everything was fine until he had his issue. <laughs> okay, and he's not here to defend himself, so... Yeah, sounds fair. Sounds good to me. This should be the final leg through to the Pine Line, and it should be a fairly straightforward journey round the road. A couple of detours and into the town. This is a steep old hill for you guys, is it? Kind of slow. Yeah, a little bit. I'll give them a little bit. I've got a full on Saviour roll cage. I'll give GT a nudge. <coughs> Do you know what? Uh, first person in this forest is actually pretty nice. It's been that long, I couldn't even remember what that would look like. Oh, BT did a little bit of a stutter there. I'm going to stay out from behind him in case he comes to a grinding halt. Yeah. I'm trying to look out the window, but I've got you my should have, in the way. You should have really good visibility in one of those things, especially because that's what they're designed for, isn't it? Do you know, it's just they've got like a tablet with all the um, speedometer and yeah. stuff like that. And then you've got the, the, the two sticks and... Got the joysticks for control, oh. yeah. Yeah. I'd love to have really a gold one in real life, that would be so cool. <laughs> I'm surprised that's something they didn't do when they had Diggerland up. I don't know if you remember that. Diggerland? Nope. Yeah, it was a, obviously it was around London area, but um, yeah, it, it was a big thing a couple of, a few, few years back now. They brought them into London or something? Well, they, they basically, they passed a uh, portioned off a, a big section of land where you could go with the kids uh, and have a day out and play with the diggers and... Alright, okay. I mean, as a kid, that that, that would be ideal. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big kids. Oh, well, like, I, I mean, literally five-year-olds. Well, I'm thinking more of big kids like our size. Mm. For us they to play in. Well, <laughs> need a couple of trees to chop down. Right, oh, there's suddenly left GT. Let's hope we all appear on the other side. Fingers crossed yet again. Hard to drive these trucks with fingers crossed. <laughs> right, let's see. I'll probably have landed in GT, I think. Right, I'm going to skip that. Well, there goes a... And he's fully formed. There goes GT. Get out of me. Go. Oh, my turn. Well, so it's that wing there isn't it? Your trailer just flew up into the air, Gareth, and now it's um, going along. I didn't see wing. that. That didn't happen on my screen. Thank God for that. I just, just came out of first person to check it was still there. No, you're still good. Because, uh, yeah, I've got no wing mirrors, so I can't check my trailer because I can't see past the logs. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, just, you don't have wing mirrors, do they? They should have a reversing camera. 
or like wing mirror cameras. Mm. And that's quite a lot of trucks have those now. Yeah, yeah, and buses. Yep. Yeah. Wing mirrors. Uh, there are a lot of them are cameras. In fact, isn't there's a few cars that have that now as well? There's the wing oh, mirrors oh, are up oh, in the rear view mirror oh, or something. Oh, hold on. Right. Oh, right, yeah, right. you need to go around to the right there, by the way. <laughs> you, you missed the junction. Oh, you're going to be yeah, fun to reverse back in a dolly trailer. I need to watch this. No, 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 no. Do you want me to pull you back? Hold on. I'm seeing. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. GT, stop there. I'm going to put a winch to the truck, sorry, the trailer of Gareth. No, in fact, mm -hmm. I'll start with you, GT, because you're further back. But I'm going <coughs> to hopefully winch your dolly trailer back. Oh no. Yes. Typical, it went to the bush that's right next to me, not the trailer. I can't reach. And I'll drag you back, hopefully to keep you in line. Right. If you release your handbrake, get me into reverse. I'm in neutral as well, so it might be easier. You might be actually go into reverse and just give me a wee assistance to push because I'm I'm not getting much in the way of grip. There you go. Right, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Oh, I'm leading you off the road. Right, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's disconnected anyway. Right, let's realign. Gareth, you're the scout. Yeah, sorry, I haven't done much in much work in these maps, remember. Yeah, we'll let you off once. Right, that should be good. Reverse back, uh, GT. Whoa, back. rubber banding. That's you. Oh, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, connected to the telegraph pole. <laughs> Get off yeah, there. that's on me. Apologies. Right, let's try that again. GT, I don't know why you're going forwards again. I'm trying to get you to go backwards. Oh! Are we oh, turning around, are we? No, I'm just oh, pulling you back oh. so you can make the corner. No, stop, oh. stop, stop! Oh. Hopefully, now we pack it. It will do, I think. Just turn to your right, go forward slowly. I'm going to release the winch. And I'm going to throw myself under the right hand side of you. In fact, hold on, I'll be able to pull you up from there. Just stay right there, don't move. Come on, give me a winch point. Stay there. Might have to reverse back to get some momentum. Come on, up, up, up. There we go. Right, pack your logs. <laughs> That's why dollies are such a nightmare. There you go. There we go. Okay. Gosh. That was close. Let me connect a winch, reverse, and break off. Right, slowly come backwards. I just want to get you back so you can, you might have to, no, that's not, stop, stop, stop. That's oh, not working. I can't see what your dolly's trying to do, that's the problem. You need to turn your, as if you're steering to the left. To get your dolly to straight up, no, the other left, the other left, that's right, yep. Go that way. And go s Right. Back. Or... I don't know what you're doing. I'm not sure what we're trying to do here. We're, we're trying to I reverse to back jump. to the junction. The junction to go round this obstacle well, I, 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 is where I, I am. Turn. There's some space to do that. If you think you can do a full U-turn, then by all means, give it a go. Oh, he's taking one out. Um, no. I'll see if there's a wee shortcut down onto the beach road in front of you. No, there's not. It's a bit of a cliff. You could maybe go down to my right. If you want to try it. I go down first and see if it's viable. Right, yeah. GT, can you see me if you come straight forward through the trees? Yeah, through there. And follow kind of my... Yeah, come straight forward there. And just come off that straight. And then you're going to get ready to turn left. 
up that route. Keep it coming, that's you, that's you. Straight into the water. That's you, now turn left and head round the water line. That's it, left, left, left. GT, eh, sorry, Gareth, did you see where GT just went there? Yeah, but I'm not in that same position. Okay, let me come back out. I will, I will require some assistance here. Because I had to pull forward if someone was trying to slip my, tra uh, slip my trailer. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll not go into the details of that. Um, are you stuck up against the tree? Right I, I will go with you. Right, okay. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. I don't know why I'm going to go. driving into my trailer, you driving into my truck. I'm well, starting to feel this is personal. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, it didn't go into reverse, strangely enough. Right, hold on. Gonna go straight in the dolly, that's it. Oh. In fact, would it be easier? Oh, my. My winch disconnected randomly. Reverse, please. See, I don't have the weight or the strength to pull the trailer back perfectly. Come, we're getting some. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, I'm, I'm hooked on this telegraph pole, though. Okay. I reckon I could probably turn it there. Okay. I don't know how round I will get. If you look. want to have me pull your nose around, hmm? maybe to help with the cornering. Oh no, I don't think that's going to work. Such a wide turning circle. The only other option is for you to detach the trailer, get yourself repositioned, and use a winch to pull the dolly round. Hang on, hang on, let me just... I, I just need a tiny amount of uh, space and... Can you come through the trees there, though? You came yeah. forward. I've, I've got that view, or that angle. You can see, yeah, go. okay. Right, you follow me. Yeah. And you're gonna bounce down. Yeah, these rocks, right. Yeah, okay, good. Let's go. Yeah, I, I, I don't do, I haven't done much work with these maps, is a problem. That's okay, there's another one. GT, can you go forwards now? Yeah. I'm just. Posting to Discord what I can see. Okay. Of Gareth driving on two, on two wheels. Hey, I'm kind of getting stuck. I'm on the move again. Sorry, right. you'll have a big track truck in the backside in a minute. Yeah, there we go. I'm out. Somebody's in reverse. Constantly, I'm getting the reversing beeps. Yeah, I'm hearing it. Is there somebody What's in there? Wrong? There's nobody actually in reverse. That's infuriating. We had that before. I can't remember. I think it was GT's. GT, you, um, you had a truck. Scout. <laughs> It was when I was too close to GT, I heard the reversing beeps. So I'm going to let GT MJ. get some distance. MJ, I need a little uh, target, oh, please. You... I'm hearing it too this time. Yeah, get up onto the road, GT, where you are, right in front of you. I'll come back. I'm sort of stuck getting up a ledge. Oh, OK, hold on. <laughs> I'm bouncing down off the rocks. I saw it. I... Right, hold on, I'm reposition, Gareth. Right, I'm ready. Are you ready? Come in. Yeah, heave. Ugh. That's it, thank you. Okay, are you still attached? No, you're not attached. Are you out? Uh, I believe so. Okay, there's a couple of good trees there anyway if you need another winch point. Right, hold yeah. on, Gareth. Uh, so, GG, come away. Support vehicle, come... Oh, you've done it. And the <laughs> evening's drawing in again. You, yeah, you're good. Okay. You flashing your lights at me? 
I was just seeing the difference. It's not too dark, but... I'll get it down to the afternoon for the final part. Stand by for bright lights. Okay. okay. GT's Keep lead scout at the moment then. GT, you're going to go forwards on, as... On. Yeah, I know, hold Just on. Say exactly where you are. I'm going to sneak through the window. How are you? You get a moment, get a look on Discord, you'll see... Yeah, we're, we're, we're in... Well, we're in, um... Hold on, GT, stay there. Gareth's coming through. I'll check it out once we're no longer recording. Right, you're going to cut down onto the beach again. Yeah. Oh, that sounded ominous. No, didn't see nothing. <laughs> That'll be At least damaged. I can see this one. <laughs> yeah, you can't miss that one. There's cones out in the road. And a sign that says Indeed, detour. Say, yeah. But yeah, I, I, because I, I, I've not done much work in this map, so it, it was just like... I, there's rocks there. Okay, GT's next. I'm going to let him get a wee bit of a gap to see if that beeping goes away. I always put it in reverse and then put it back into, neutral, into forwards. Possibly. I don't know if it's just a glitch, a sound glitch that's appeared. I oh, see. It stopped. Right, let's get close to GT, see if it appears again. Yep. It's if I get too close to GT, that reversing sound comes back. <laughs> Maybe that's a warning sign. Don't get close. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's, not, it's not a reverse beep, it's a warning sign. It's not, it's not a glitch at all. It's a proper full-on, don't get close. <laughs> Top tip. Hazard. <laughs> yeah. I can still see you guys in the distance, so it's okay. I really wish I get these bridges finished. Yeah, they're taking their time, aren't they? Be nice when they're done, though. Yeah, man. I mean, last time I saw the, I saw this was probably about a month and a half ago. They still haven't done anything. They were on a, they were on our summer holidays. <laughs> <laughs> or straight. <laughs> right, this should this should be an absolute doddle now from the main road round across the bridge and into the town. Oh, MJ, how could you say that? Because I'm optimistic. You can't yeah, go wrong don't now. <laughs> <laughs> don't prove me wrong. Don't prove me wrong. Yeah. Yeah, let's get through this last little bit of mud. Oh. What's the distance, guys? The beeps kick in. This game is so bizarre, sometimes. <clears throat> and you yeah, have to look forward to how they'll make cult work on expeditions. It'll be interesting. Still no date or a, like a road map as to when this properly intended. Yeah. But it'll be good. It'll be interesting. It'll, it'll be another dynamic to the game. At the moment it is a bit frustrating with some of the contracts physics. I experienced it trying to pull that Tatra and it just drove me nuts. Um, and I believe we've got a bandit to recover and that other scout type vehicle. I've got to get that back. So I hope it's not all going to be completely Frustrating. Don't waste your time on that armored car thing. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Is it rubbish? Yeah. Oh. But it's a job you need to do, though. At some point. Right, I'm on the bridge. You guys, can, can, Gareth, can you, can, can you hear the reversing beeping? No. It's only when I get close to GT that it appears. So if I, I'm going to zoom up behind. Let me know Sorry, if you I'm hear it. Say. Oh, it's back. Can you hear it now, Gareth? No. You can't hear it. It'll slow down it. 
Okay. It's like when it's like when GT's in a forward gear, it thinks it's reverse, and when he's not driving, it goes away. Is that the drop-off point? Yep. Excellent! Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm pushing the garage. Yep, two of four done. Yeah, watch the I crash barrier. Yeah, the beeping goes away when GT's not driving forward. Yay, job complete. I hope that other logs is going to disappear. Or did he click it too fast? Yeah, there they go. Well done. Are you driving forward to the gas station? Aye. Okay. Sure. We'll finish up there. So that was filling space. That's a zero-waste approach right there. I gotta say, those logs caused us some real trouble. Yeah, and my team and the computer. The guys at the sawmill are swamped, but the town really needed to fill the warehouse. Okay, 16,500 cash. I hope you guys got that. Poor Mickey doesn't get any cut. 1,400 mm -hmm. XP, and we got hey, a man. warehouse. Where's the warehouse? You need to show up for work or you don't get paid. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Right, I've accepted that. Where did the warehouse appear? Does anybody know? It is where you are. Where I am. There's no Wait, yellow box. Uh, oh, is it the box that you just dropped the warehouse, the warehouse at? Uh, it was, yeah, I think so. Right, I'll, I'm going to go back. I thought that was just the task, but it must be the warehouse. That makes perfect sense. Sometimes it's not where you drop it off, though. What did we gain? Oh, no, see, it's not opened up as a warehouse. Okay. That's Peculiar. I don't know. No, it's not appeared on my map screen either. I don't know what the warehouse was. Just have a look at the And this is maybe in Oviro's the warehouse? Or maybe it's no, because that's uh that's not. Hmm. So if you know it's not there, it says town warehouse, is it? Yeah, but that's always been there and it's it's only uh oh. set, service spare oh. parts. No, if I click on oh, Town Warehouse on the left them. under Buildings, it says Storage Zone Medium Planks 8. Yep. Yep. But it. it's not That's appeared right. on my screen as a pickup point. I can't access it probably because I'm in a Ford and not oh, a... So you don't have a, a trailer or anything. Load so. bed, uh, yeah. Okay, well done. Happy with that. That's a good job, well done. We'll try and get everybody back in for everybody gets a log. That's the next one. You guys are there. Okay, engine off. Thank you, GG. Thank you, Gareth. Thank you, Mickey, when you were here. I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, say your goodbyes. GG, do you want to go first? Goodbye. Gareth. See you all later. Thank you for watching. You'll see us again soon. Bye for now.